Hallelujah. The Lord is great. The Lord is good. The Lord is awesome. He's been doing awesome things. And this is a month of new beginnings. How many say amen? Amen. 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 This is an eighth month. And remember, numbers and colors are very important and very significant to God. Everything has a meaning. So the number eight means a new beginning. So today in this month of August, <laughs> there's going to be um, everything new in your life. How many say amen? Amen. Say new victories, new blessings. New victories, yeah. Hallelujah. New blessings. And blessings. especially a new me. How many say amen? New me. Amen. Hallelujah. A new me. Hallelujah. God bless all of you. Hallelujah. That are tuning in. Hallelujah. Today's teaching is going to be titled, Hallelujah, um, A Prophetic New Beginning. A Prophetic New Beginning. And I'm going to release to you a prophetic um, new beginning keys for this month of August. How many say amen? Amen. 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 You're about to receive something new from the Lord today. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, amen. neighbor, it's your new beginning tonight. Neighbor, it's your new beginning tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's go to the word of God in Matthew 26, verses 6 through 12. Matthew chapter 26, verses 6 through 12. Now when Jesus was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box, a very precious box, a very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, to what purpose is this? Say, neighbor. Neighbor. There's a lot of people that do not know and There's do not have a clue of what amen. you're doing for Jesus in this time of the hour. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. 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 For this ointment might have been <laughs> sold for much and given to the poor. Many, many, many people are focused more on, on, on money than on Jesus that has the money. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know why, but I I, uh, I, I heard, um, I was having a conversation with somebody, and he said, you know what? This prophet prophesied to me 25 years ago that um, money was going to be in my bank, and I'm still <coughs> waiting for that money to happen, you know? Oh and, 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 and I found out, and I, and I told the person, that's why you got to um, be connected to the right prophet. How many say amen? Amen. You know, many people mean well, but it, it, it just what they say doesn't mean that it's really from God. That's why you have to um, discern what is of God, what is of, of, of people, and what is of the devil. How many say amen? Amen. amen. For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, why trouble ye the woman? For she has brought a good work upon me. See, there's a lot of people that they're thinking about you, of the way you're doing things with Jesus, and they think that it's nothing, and sometimes that it's wrong, but Jesus considers it like it's something precious. How many say amen? Amen. Amen. So what you're doing for Jesus is something precious, people of God. For mm -hmm. in that she has poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my what? Burial. For my burial. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So there's a lot of people of, uh, in the churches that they're trying to kill you. They're trying to send you to the grave. They're trying to bury you alive. But I come to tell somebody, I come to tell somebody tonight that what they're doing unto you is a good thing because 
you're about to be resurrected and receive many new beginnings in all areas in your life in Jesus name. How many amen. say amen? amen. Say I receive it in Jesus name. I receive, I receive it in Jesus, in Jesus name. name. Say tonight is my new beginning. Tonight, tonight is, is my new beginning. beginning. This month of August, the eighth month is my new beginning. This month of August, August is my new beginning. So I'm going to release to you people of God a prophetic keys. Eight, wow. which, which means new beginnings. The number eight means new beginnings. Number one, a lot of people that are in the flesh, physical people, they talk a lot, but they do not do nothing. Okay. It's just like these kind of people that they were concerned about the money, you know, talking a lot of nonsense, talking a lot of foolishness. How many say amen? Amen. amen. But they never did anything for Jesus. Amen. How many people do you know in the churches that they talk a lot, but they don't do anything? The amen. Bible says, you know, faith without action is dead. Amen. Say, neighbor, you better Amen. watch out not to hang around with dead people in this new season in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, see what this woman was doing. She was adorning Jesus. Amen. She Amen. was preparing Jesus. And you and I, in this season, in this new month, in this new beginning season, we're supposed to be preparing and adoring Many people. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Say hallelujah. 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 And, 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 and you got to prepare these people, you know, to die to self. To die to the flesh, but be resurrected in the spirit. How many say amen? Amen. amen. In this amen. new beginning, in this new month, in this new season, you and I are supposed to be preparing people for their new beginning. Yes. We're supposed to be preparing. Oh, thank you for that person that said yes. Hallelujah. Amen. We're supposed to be preparing people and adorn, adorning them, preparing them. Why? Because they're about to be resurrected in all areas in their lives. Amen. In their finances, in their health. In their yes. family, in all areas, amen. in Jesus' name. How many say amen? amen? Say, neighbor, you're about to be resurrected in this new beginning, in this new month. Neighbor, you're, neighbor, you're, about, you're about, about to be, to be resurrected, resurrected in this new month. This month. Ah, thank you, Lord. Check this out. The Lord just told me, he spoke to me right now. Amen. This is a revelation. Say, it's a revelation. Revelation. I have revelation. received a revelation from God right now, and I'm going to release it unto you. There's eight, eight um, prophetic keys, and this is the eighth month, which means new beginnings. How many say amen? Amen. amen. And the Lord just told me, you're supposed to be adorning and preparing your family. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> because they're, 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 they're going to the grave, you know, but you're, you're, you're preparing them so they can die to self, to flesh, and be resurrected in the spirit realm. In other what? words, you're going to bring revelation, confirmation. You're about to open the eyes of their understanding and take away the spirit of religion, tradition, and witchcraft. And break the, the generations from the third to the fourth generation amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How many say amen? Oh, amen. give a half to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, neighbor. 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 You're about to be resurrected in Jesus' You're about name. To be resurrected. You're about to be resurrected, resurrected, in, resurrected in, Jesus in Jesus' name. Jesus. And this is the revelation. God said, mm -hmm. there was, do you know how many, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know how many people, um, God saved in the ark. Eight. The family of Noah. Eight. 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 Okay. Eight. Eight. God said, mm -hmm. this is a revelation. He just told me right now. He said, tell my people tonight that this is the eighth month. 
and they've been trying to do things in the flesh. But now the spirit man has to arise to another dimension. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Yeah. And there was eight people that God saved of the family of Noah. I come to prophesy to somebody that God is about to strike. God is about to touch your family in this month like never before in Jesus' amen. name. He's about to touch her husband. He's about to touch her kids. He's about to touch your uncles, your aunts, your cousins. Because he has given you a promise. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You and your family will be saved in this month of a new beginning in Jesus' name. Oh, somebody got to shout a victory. Hallelujah. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. God has given you a promise. God has given you a promise. To your family. To your family. And to you. To you. And to you. But it's up to you to prepare them to you adorn them in Jesus' name. Amen. You'll get it later. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. This woman was preparing with the oil to Jesus for his bur bur burial mm. so he can be buried. But see, mm -hmm. something has for in order for, check this out, in order for something to be resurrected, it has to be buried underground. Amen. When they Amen. try to bury you alive, throwing you dirt, all they're doing is you're just saying like that song, I'm coming up. I want the world to know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's a good one. Say, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Say, I'm coming up. I'm going up. I'm coming up. I'm going up. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. I'm coming Number up. three. <laughs> you cannot bury a dead man. This is not the season to be burying dead man, dead people. This is a season to be adorning and be preparing people for the resurrection. Amen. 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 <laughs> to be resurrected in their personal life with Jesus, to be resurrected in their finances, to be resurrected in their bodies of a healing, of a sign, of a wonder, of a miracle. I'm telling you, people of God, what the enemy intended for evil, God is about to turn it all around for your good in this Amen. season. Amen. Give it to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Say thank, thank you, Lord. You. Thank you. Uh, number four. That is why the spirit of Corona did not kill you. Ooh. Amen. 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 Because we're we are people that are not supposed to be in the grave. Amen. Uh, Amen. We're supposed to be people that. They're adorning us. Who's adorning us? The Holy Spirit is adorning Amen. you. The Holy Spirit. You're getting the Holy Spirit and be, you're filling yourself with his oil. He's filling yourself. Amen. He's filling us with his oil, his anointed oil. How many say amen? Amen. How many are receiving something tonight through this? Teaching? This is really good. Yes. See, it is not about being buried in the grave. It's about our prophetic destiny that we're supposed to prepare others like the Holy Spirit is preparing us. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Number five, you have to be transformed first in order to transform others. Amen. There's a lot of people in the churches that are trying to cast out devils and then themselves um, have devils. You, you see that right there in, in Papa Lola Revelation Church. Many people say, wow, look at him, look at her. And I thought, hmm, God does those things to let others be careful. Be careful. Say, be careful. Be careful. Matthew chapter 17, verse 4. 
Matthew chapter 17, verse 4. Amen. Coming up. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. Uy. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. See, Amen. what was happening here, people of God, sometimes we're, we're inside a service or a Zoom meeting like this. And you're receiving from God. You feel his presence. And God is downloading your stuff. And you don't want the Zoom meeting to end. But it has to end. Because this is a time of preparation. A time of receiving. So you can go out of the Zoom meeting. So you can go out of your house. So you can go out of the church. And go out there. And transform others. How many say amen? Amen. And this is what's happening. Um, Peter said, oh, man, we're here in cloud nine. We're here in sky high. Oh, I want to stay here. I never want to get get down from the mountain. Let's, let, let's do some tents here, some tabernacles. And Jesus was saying, no, it's time to go to the valley. There's a lot of people down there that you have to transform. There's a lot of people down there that you have to reach. Amen. There's a lot of people out there that need help. Amen. And you have received the revelation and a touch from God. Now go and touch them so they can be resurrected in Jesus' name. How many amen. say amen? amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you know that the three men that were in the fire, they never smelled like fire? I want you to meditate on that. The three young men that were in the fire, they never smelled like fire. I was reading that chapter tonight. Really? Oh. Yes. This is Daniel. for you. Daniel. This is for you. This is mm -hmm. for you. I'm going to prophesy to you. Yeah. Amen, Jesus. The Lord says the enemy cannot burn you. Amen. And turn you into smoke. Because the Lord says, you are the fire of God. Amen. And wherever you go, anything that is not of God will melt and be destroyed to the root because of the amen. fire of God. How many say amen? amen? Amen. I want all of you to say fire three times. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. 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 His name. Fire. Hallelujah. Jesus. Number six. You have to watch out of problems. Many people in the church, they run away from problems. Mm. They run away from the devil. They run away from witchcraft. Mm. They run away from evil people. Say hallelujah. 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 You know why they when they run away and things happens to them is because there's no anointing. If you're running away, there will be no anointing and there will be no fire. And that's because you're not being effective because you're running away from the problem. But if you go to the problem, you face the problem like David did. Let me tell you, you will bring giants with one stone and one slingshot. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Many, many of God's people, they're wasting a lot of time fighting battles. They're because they're fighting the battles in the physical. They're fighting it in the flesh and not in the spirit. And many are fighting battles that they're not even supposed to fight. And that's why you feel drained. That's why you feel like throwing the towel. That's why you feel exhausted. That's why you feel all stressed out. 
because you're not supposed to be fighting those battles. Amen. Who's supposed to be fighting the battles? God. God. Jesus. God says, Amen. be still and know that I'm your God. Be on this battle, you will no longer fight, for I will fight it for you. There's Amen. about there's there's somebody on the Zoom tonight. You're fighting a legal problem. And the Lord says, in this one, I will be your lawyer. I will be your judge. I will be your everything. And I've given you 100% victory tonight and no defeats. For this is the month of victory, thus says the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Give it to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say neighbor. Neighbor. 100% victory and no defeats. 100% victory and no defeats. No defeat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Say, I need to do better for my family. I need to do better for my family. And you know how you're going to do it? By adorning them with prayer. Preparing them with prayer. Preparing them with fasting. Preparing with the word of God. Prophesying to those dead situations that they'll be resurrected in their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, God just told me right now, he said, tell the women, because there's a lot of women, so all these women have husbands. You know, they have one husband, but it's husband because there's a lot of women. Do you understand that? Yes. In other words, if there was just one woman tonight, it would be husband. But there's several, so it's husbands with a S, plural. Yes. And in the word husbands, the Lord said, count the letters. That's what I was doing right now. And I count them, there's eight letters. He says, tell them that their husbands are about to come to me like never before. Amen. That their husbands Amen. are going to receive a new touch from the Hallelujah. Lord. A new revelation from the Lord, a new dream from the Lord, a new vision from the Lord, yes. a new Amen. experience from the Lord. Oof. I receive God that. that See, my husband is coming in. My husband is coming in. Because I'm adoring, I'm adorning, I'm adorning him, I'm preparing him to Amen. enter into the ark. Amen. 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 Say hallelujah. 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 Number seven. There is a preparation inside of you. Amen. There Amen. is an adorning inside of you. There's a preparation inside of you, but you need to let it out. As long as you keep it in there, nothing's going to happen. You need to let it out for things to happen. Amen. God says, stop running away from trouble. Stop running away from the attacks. Stop mm -hmm. running away from giants and yeah. stop yeah. and stop fighting midget problems, midget yeah. battles. There's a lot of people in, in the kingdom of God that say, Lord, don't send me big, big trials, big battles. Just send me little trials. Mm -hmm. So he sends he sends you little trials, but you that's why you just get little blessings. Remember. Mm -hmm. The greater the trial, the greater the problem, the greater the blessings that are going to overflow in your life. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen. Say overflow. Say overflow. Overflow. In Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God told me to tell you that he has given you the capacity to overcome giants in this season. Amen. The word of God says, you are more than a conqueror. You're more than an overcomer in Christ Jesus. How many overcomers are here tonight? Amen. 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 How many overcomers are here tonight? Amen. 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 You know, God sees us as giants. But many of, of you and many of God's people, they see themselves like grasshoppers. Hmm. Remember when the 
God told Joshua and Caleb to go and spy the land. And the, the majority came with an evil, it says an evil report, a bad report. They say, oh, there are giants in the land that you've given us. And there's no way that we can live in that land because we're like grasshoppers, like, like, like them. God's saying to you and I, quit comparing yourself to others. You're you. Say, I am me. I am me. I am me. I am me. Number eight. And with this, we finish tonight. Some are telling the devil how You're the devil talk? should see you. I'm going to say it again. Some are talking to the devil and they're telling him how to see you. In other words, to see you that you cannot make it. You're telling the devil, oh, I cannot make it. This is too much. Oh, I'm never going to get out of this sickness. Oh, I don't think my family member is going to come. So you're telling all this negativity to the devil. And that's why it's becoming more worse. Okay. What, you're, what you're supposed to be telling the devil. You know what, devil? Greater is he that is in me than you the world. that are under my feet. Oh. Amen. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. 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 Remember that as a man thinks, so he will be. If you think you're not going to make it, you're not going to make it. If you think oh, the anxiety is coming and, <laughs> and, and, and you're, you're going to die and you, you need to, to call the ambulance, that's, a, that's what's going to happen. But if you think, I have the mind of Christ, I have the peace of Christ. No weapon formed against me shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall Amen. live and not die. Amen. I am Amen. the head and not the tail. Amen. How many say amen? Amen. amen? amen. I'm telling you, people of God, God wants to prosper you and God is, is, is giving um, his people in this season, in this new season, a lot of strategies a lot of strategies, a lot of ideas how to make money. But he wants mm. you to use it wisely. He wants you to use it wisely. Don't just throw your money here and there. Don't just try to please people here and there. Mm. You know, I used to do that. I used to sow every, every, and I really never got blessed because it, it was not that I wanted to please people, but I just didn't want them to say oh he didn't gave but see i was immature but when you start being more mature you start going to these levels with god and you start depending on god all you have to do is be a god pleaser amen how many god pleasers are here tonight amen, amen. god says people of god my children i want you to rest in me because i have called you and I'm, have said, I'm sending you to go adorn and to go prepare these people to be resurrected from the dead. How many say amen? Amen. amen? amen. And this is something I really want you to, to write. I want, I want you to see it. Do you see all that in, in right there? I don't know, you can see it in green. The bottom with a star. Yes. You see it? Yes. God says, a lot of people are are worrying and saying, "Oh, this is my stumbling block. I need I need more prayer. That's why uh, everything's going wrong." No, God is God told me to tell you tonight. The problem or the stumbling block is not your prayer. The problem, the stumbling block, is your mind. Hey. Wow. Amen. I tell everybody, if you never decree and declare every morning, you know, um, I have the mind of Christ. I do not have the old mindset. I have the new mindset. I have the mind of Christ. I receive the new mindset. Today, I decree it done in the mighty name of Jesus. See, people of God, we have to decree these things every day of our lives. Because 
there's devils, there's assignments from the devil sending his, his devils, his demons to try to mess up in your mind. Yes. I'm not going to make it, oh my God. But you know what? Just look at it this way, like a, a pastor told me. Prophet Reuben, all what the devil does, he just throws a smoke screen, a smoke bomb. You know, in the movies, when they throw a smoke bomb, shh, you know, it gets all dark. Yes. It's just an illusion. It's just to scare you. It's not really, nothing's going to happen. In these last days, there's two, two things that the Bible says. And I'm going to give it to you next week. I'm going to just ask uh, real quickly. There's two things that people are going to die in the last days. You know what is? It's not going to be drugs. It's not going to be alcohol. One of them is food. Everybody's thinking. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> because yeah. that's called the spirit of glutton. Just eating, eating, eating. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, you think it's a, it's a coincidence? It's a coincidence that that uh, that Papa Lo received those instructions from God for the 30 days of fasting? No, it's a preparation. It's an adorning for this new season. You know, if you eat a lot of stuff, you know, that we're not supposed to eat, you can get cholesterol. Mm -hmm. you can get a heart attack you know this fast it really prepared me it really yeah. you know I lost a lot of weight Amen. you know but you know what I, I, I would eat meat every day every day mm. every day now I'm preparing myself hard enough to eat meat that much only Amen. when I go to a only when I go to Ohio, to Pennsylvania, to Texas, then I, I can eat all the meat over there. Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'll break, I'll break, I'll break the menu. <laughs> Only when I go to San Diego. <laughs> Hallelujah. Only when I go to Los Angeles, to Santa Barbara. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to share what we received tonight. All of you people of God, the Lord says to get some honey and ask the Lord to bless it. Uh, and if you want me to bless it, I'll bless it. Um, but ask the Lord to bless his honey and and um, to take uh, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C. Uh, mm. and, and you will not get sick in this season, that says the Lord. Yeah. That's yeah. an instruction. Okay, go, go, go ahead. Har. I'm believing for a car, and and, and um, I know that, that it's going to happen in this month. I, I've been kind of desperate in the month of July, and I was going to get it, but the Lord said, no, it's coming. But you sometimes you have to wait, and then when you wait Amen. for that blessing, you know that you know that that's your car. How many yeah. say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. My son, Jerry. Alan from Texas, what did you receive tonight, son? Right now, God just God said, did, did you hear that? Did you see that? And I said, yeah. And then he just started spreading it more, and he gave it to me. The word Ohio, it means, oh, hi, oh. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> In other words, he's about to, to, to do an old thing like people are going to say in Ohio, oh my God, oh my goodness, you know? We receive it. Amen. 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 Yeah, Chardrow said I already have a room there prepared. Hallelujah. Yeah. And <laughs> I forgot about it. San Diego, Patty. So, <laughs> uh, William, what did you receive? Well, uh, the greater the battle, the, the greater the reward. And also, my mom was here listening earlier. Oh, when wow. You said, yeah, when oh, you said, awesome. when you talked about all oh, husbands are coming back <laughs> to, to God. 
So I know my mom had entered to her heart. Yeah, she was here uh, with me listening to it earlier. And um, son, uh, yeah, I need I need to get tell your mom to write you the number. I need to call your dad in Mexico because God's gonna do something supernatural, okay? Yeah, yeah. And the Lord told me, and the Lord told me to tell you that in the Bible it says there's four months left for the harvest. The fields are ready. The souls are ready. And he's going to use you and me to bring that harvest of souls into his kingdom. Amen. amen. Four months amen. left. How many say amen? Amen. amen. See, there's amen. September, October, November, amen. December. So this month of August is the time of adorning. It's a time of preparation for this harvest is coming. So this is going to be a harvest seed for your harvest. How many say amen? Amen. amen. And the Lord told me, he said, tell them for, for the four months, it'll be four ways. One dollar, eleven dollars. One eleven, one eleven is, is a special um, seed that will blow your mind. It says that God of our fathers has blessed us that he will bless you and I a thousand times more than what we are. And the uh, and the fourth one is a thousand one eleven. One thousand one eleven. So may the Lord bless you. May may you be obedient to the seed that He's telling you to sow in faith. And I decree and declare as his prophet, as his servant tonight, that God will bring the harvest to your seed. That God will bring the harvest of souls in your family. And I decree it done. In Jesus' name we pray. And God's amen. people in victory say amen and amen. 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 Father, amen. I also pray for everyone's needs tonight. You know their names. You know their needs. Father God, I cancel all assignments of yeah. any colds, any flus. Any virus, any bacteria, any germs that will not touch them. I decree that a thousand will fall on one side, ten thousand on the right. But it, whatever the assignment is against them, it will not prosper in this season. This season will be harvest season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is the ways of giving and... And there's uh, also, if you have not, I really encourage you, if you have not um, subscribed to the YouTube channel, to do it in the mighty name of Jesus. How many say amen? Amen. I don't know why, but I'm just going to say this. Remember, God promised salvation for your whole family. How many say amen? Amen. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You and all your family will be saved, not just some, all. See, what you have to know, that many, many times, most of them will be, will die in their last breath. But God says, I promise you, they will be with me in paradise. How many say amen? Amen. amen. But you know what we get caught up with? Oh, I want them to be a pastor. I want them to be an apostle, a prophet. And you pray for all that. <laughs> you know, just give thanks to God that they already are saved through you. Amen. And ask God to give you the supernatural strength of the buffalo, rejuvenating you, transforming you like the eagle to fly to higher dimensions. May the Lord bless you, increase you, may he give you peace and your rest and your sleep. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Ohio people and Pennsylvania people, get ready for the coming of Prophet Reuben in Ohio. And maybe we might <laughs> yes. Pennsylvania. Hey, you're you're in Pennsylvania, Alexandra, right? Um, um, Evangelist Carmen is in Pennsylvania. Maybe from there we can go over there. Uh -huh. Amen. Okay. Okay. So let's pray on that, and 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 um and and the, let the Lord have it His way. Are you ready, Amen. William? I'm ready. I was about to ask you, am I coming too? 
<laughs> oh, you, you better believe it. <laughs> Amen. I love you all. Love you, God Papa. Bless you. Thank you. God and remember to, to invite people next Tuesday. And you can share the link um, with them, okay? Amen. Okay. Share the link. Thank you. God bless you, Martin. Thank you. God bless you too.